What's going on, everyone? Welcome. This is the Warehouse Series. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. This is Discord Friday. Guys, every Friday I go over your work. Now, I am going to start adding some other things on the Discord Friday. Uh, since I am working a lot of overtime at work, I'm not having a lot of time to uh, make a lot of videos. So I threw some extra stuff on today. Uh, guys, with that being said, join Discord. I, I tried getting people to join Discord. It is free, guys. It's always going to be free, and it's definitely going to help you on your journey of being a warehouse selector or even a forklift operator, whatever you're doing. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you guys want to donate to Venmo, I really appreciate it. And, of course, Venmo in this year, I decided, hey, you know what? We're going to get some of that money. You know, After $600, we're going to start taxing you. So welcome to the great country of America where we like to tax everybody for their, uh, their hard-earned work. So, you know, I barely get paid anything off of Google. All right. I'm getting like a hundred bucks a month, guys. It may be 120, 130. It fluctuates, uh, you know, for all the work that I put into this channel. And so I started asking for uh, donations and now Venmo, uh, the, well, not, not Venmo, but the, you know, our fine government over here decide that they're going to step in and start uh, charging us taxes on anything over 600 bucks, which I'm going to be getting uh, that. So I'll be paying, uh, looks like 24%. Uh, that's beautiful. You know, that's great. I'm glad that, uh, you know, I try to get a little bit extra money and they come and tax it. So that's always nice to know. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is this right here. I put this up five months ago. We had 223 votes on it. How early do you show up to work? Now, me, myself, I'm part of this 15%. I show up an hour early to work, sometimes a little bit earlier, sometimes just a little bit later, maybe 50 minutes. Why? Because I have a long way to travel to work. I got about a 40 minute drive. I travel uh, highway miles. So I don't know what I'm going to hit. I'm always giving myself that uh, leeway of getting there. Now, when you are a new selector, why is this important? First of all, 39% of you said a few minutes always running late that you're arriving to work. Well, that's bull. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, even 30 minutes, is, in my opinion, is not enough time. You should be 45 minutes to an hour early to work every day. And why? It, it, I get it. That, you know, Read a book or something. If you get there early, uh, go on your phone and read a book or do whatever you need to do. But the reason why is, first of all, when you first start at these warehouse jobs, guys, tardies are limited. You only get a handful of tardies for a whole entire year. And usually those tardies are when you leave early, too. Like at our work, you get like five tardies. So if you come late or leave early five times in one year, guess what? You're terminated. So that is one reason and probably the main reason why you should be arriving to work at least 45 minutes early. All right, guys, the second reason, another big main reason why you should be living early enough is when you rush, bad things happen. You can get a ticket for speeding, you're cutting people off, you're probably causing an accident, or you could even be in an accident yourself. And, uh, you know, so definitely leaving early is going to help that situation of not causing anything bad to happen. And the main reason, guys, is stress. When you're running late, you do stupid things and then you're stressed all day because you're pissed off someone cut you off or you missed a light or whatever it may be. So now you just made your whole entire day stressful. I promise you, it's actually kind of, you know, for me that has a family of five and four dogs and a cat, when I get to work an hour early, I love it. It's it's just straight peace for 45 minutes until I walk in that building to clock in for the day. I love it, guys. It is literally my time of the day where I just sit there and just relax and don't think about anything. So why don't you guys try leaving a little bit earlier to get to work? All right, guys, the first, uh, we're just going to look at a few pictures. I know I didn't put a bunch of pictures. I know you guys post pictures over there. Keep posting your pictures. We will get them on next Discord Friday if I missed you. Uh, I... It seems like we got just like people posting pictures that build good palettes. Uh, guys, if you are new to selecting and you're trying to uh, need help on your work, I need to see your work, okay? So we can go over it on here and see what you need to be doing differently. But the reason why I like putting these up is because you could learn from them. We got a seven block with the apples. All right, guys, we got avocados down here, column stacked. See how everything's column stacked in produce? It's basically what you got to do. We got all different size boxes the whole way down this pallet. We're keeping light cases together. See what I said? Even though we're keeping light cases together, sometimes it's stacking on top of each other. We got two the same. You know, we're, we're keeping our avocados together, our apples together. 
Guys, just a beautiful the topping off with these crates. Hopefully, if your warehouse is slotted properly, these crates are coming last so you don't have to stack on them too much and you can throw the beans up above. Uh, but other than that, it's just a really, really good stack palette. Thank you for posting your produce picture. All right, guys, these next off few pictures are all the same person. And I just liked it, okay, guys? Just just keeping cases together uh we're not forcing tie-ins anywhere we wait for our opportunity we did use a slip sheet i believe somewhere on here or maybe that's the next picture but see how we space out our cases right here so maybe we had our sunny delight together and then we put this case in now oh, the gap's too big so i'm just going to center this case centering cases is probably one of the best things you could do whenever you're stacking product like this guys who cares about the, the gap? You take one big hole here and you minimize it between two by just centering the case. But other than that, just, I mean, perfectly done the whole way up. Now these cases here are hard to stack on. So what I like to do is uh, if I'm, let's say, now we're past midway on the pallet. If these cases were like our base or a little bit lower, I like to throw a little bit of wrap around there because these ocean sprays are just, they're not, good cases to stack on but you don't have a choice but to stack on them all these clear cases uh the gator rates aren't too bad because they're a little bit more flat but these tall skinny cases with the wrap on them and these ocean sprays are tough to stack on uh, you definitely want to try to tie them in when you can and you want to wrap when possible all right this one right here uh we got a slip sheet here this is the slip sheet i think i was looking at we got broth on the bottom, nice and spaced out, all upright, guys. Keep your liquids upright. Uh, the only thing I would have done different, if this is two full layers of uh, Cole jammers, I would have tied them in. I would have switched the block on this and tied them in. It would have been an opportunity just to get a little bit more sturdiness out of the middle of the pallet. Uh, but the way you have it stacked is fine, too, guys. Once again, if you're column stacking like this and you're, you feel all it takes is two seconds for you to put some wrap around the middle of the pallet, guys, two times, that's it. Two revolutions around your pallet, around the middle of the pallet, and that's it, or the problem part of the pallet. You should not be mummifying your pallet if you have wrap stations. Now, if you do not have wrap stations, take the time. If you're wrapping, then wrap from here down, and then when you're done, wrap from here up. Uh, don't re-wrap what you already wrapped. But if you have wrap stations, two revolutions around, call it a day. It's enough to keep it up. We got cases on their sides. That's fine. It looks like a cereal or not. Uh, yeah, it's crunchy cereal. Guys, you could put cereal on their side, especially up above like this. And especially if you are stacking more cereal on top of it. Now, if you're stacking heavy items on this, then I probably wouldn't put them on their sides. But if you're stacking heavy items on top of that, then your warehouse got an issue. Now, right now we are reslotting our warehouse. It is dumb. It is so stupid. Uh, the way they have us still trying to make our times and everything is just mixed up. It's really getting on my nerves. I can't wait for them to be done. It's it's so dumb. So once our warehouse is reslotted, I will probably film myself selecting in the warehouse again. Uh, every time I go in, it feels like I'm a new employee at a new warehouse. That's how much things are all messed up right now. So once things are set, I will film myself again selecting in the warehouse but right now i have no idea what the hell's going on in there i'm barely making my times and it's really getting on my nerves and not mine guys i'm only three or four hours a day when i come in early there's people throwing eight ten hours a day if not 12 hours a day i feel for them right now we got arrows facing up i love it topped off with the slippery cases it's a very properly well slotted warehouse right here all right guys right here once again don't force tie-ins. We got two of our bottom rows here, the nice tight end base, and then we did here column stack. You don't see him hurrying up and try to tie this in. Nope, we uh, column stacked again, and then we tied in with the Sunny Delight. We tied in over here with the Diet Ocean Spray. Wait for your opportunity to tie in. Do not force tie-ins if you cannot do so. Uh, I think we're just looking at the opposite side of that palette we looked at, but that's fine. Uh, just a great looking palette, great stack. Let's get on to the next picture. All right, guys, so we're going to look at our last pallet of the day. Like I said, keep posting your pictures. I will get them on Discord Friday. If you are a new selector, please post those pictures. Now, we kept our, uh, I like the slip sheet in between the Gatorade. Uh, we got Hawaiian punches together. You know, we tied in right here with the Pinto. Now, we tied in. You don't see him taking his other Pinto and going back. No, we keep tying in because the best part is right here in the middle of the pallet. We want to come in. 
Now, I don't agree with this case in the middle right here. I Anytime I get a long case like that, I think corner facing in, corner facing in, because we got this big column coming over here. Now, this is still a nice square palette, and to solve this whole problem will be two revolutions around the middle if you have wrap stations, but big cases on the middle. Uh, this case here, I would have liked to point it in. I like pointing my long cases in. I, I, I'm, I'm all about pointing cases in. I, the only time I usually go back is when I have two of the same. If not, I am pointing cases in. I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm just telling you what I like to do. The strongest point of this palette is right here. When you start running cases this way and putting cases like this across my cross and T, you start weakening your palette. You did it right here too as well. See how we just had to put a case up on end because we forced ourselves to have a small corner. Once again, buddy, if you, whoever put this, uh, posted this picture, if this is what your method is, stick with it. I'm not saying my method's the right way. I'm saying it works. And obviously, if you're building this and you're making your times, keep up your own method. Uh, but I disagree with a few things, but it's still a great looking palette. All right, guys. So I know I'm mumbling on today. I have so much crap going on right now. I'm trying to get this video done. Uh, we have a whole entire yard sale coming up. We've been working on real hard. We have hundreds upon hundreds of items we're selling this weekend. And I am stressed about this weekend. I'm hoping we have a really good day. Uh, Coast in the Jack, guys. Someone messaged me on Discord uh, just yesterday, and it's so funny because they are doing this to our new ones. They are shutting off the stupid Coast on the Jacks. Guys, if you are a, a manager or a business owner that has a warehouse, you know, train the people, all right? Just because one person hurts herself on a Jack doesn't mean you have to shut off the Coast off everything. So our new Yales that we got coming in, they're shutting the Coast off them. For what reason? Why are you shutting the coast off of jacks? That is part of selecting. If you're going to shut the coast off of jacks, then you need to redo your standards and give us more time to throw our orders. Because that jack constantly moving is literally so crucial to us making our standard, it's not even funny. And to keep the pace and the momentum going. I mentioned something to our safety guy at work. I said, this is stupid. These coasts should not be uh, getting shut off. Uh, it, it's just ridiculous. This is part of our whole entire thing to keep the process going. Our new jacks, I, I just mentioned that. I told you a, a Discord member reached out to me and, and I just told you why the problem is. It's because it is part of our selecting. If you want to shut select or the coast off, then you need to give us more time to throw our orders. All right, guys, I hope you don't feel like I rushed through this. I, I put a lot of information out in a short, I'm trying that, I knew I had a lot today, so I wanted to do it in a short amount of time. And guys, I, I am very busy, and but I am gonna keep doing these Discord Fridays. I got a real long weekend coming up, so I, uh, I was actually gonna make two videos, and I was like, I need to get this all on one video. So if you guys appreciate the channel, please give me a thumbs up, comment in the section below if you're shutting your jacks off the coast on uh, some of your jacks at work uh, because of safety issues. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.